got a question to ask it. Where would you rather spend your winters, Costa Rica or Portugal? So if you're wondering what the concept of snowbirding is... It's escaping your home country for a more pleasurable destination. This is an ideal lifestyle for retirees and seasonal workers. So what do you need to consider to have an enjoyable snowbird destination? So stay with us as we take a closer look at Costa Rica versus Portugal, Portugal. as a snowbird destination. I wonder where are you now? So uh, one of the first things to consider is going to be getting there. So you're to, going to need to take an airline there. So you're going to want to look at the duration. Costa Rica is about five hours. This is all out of Toronto. Mm -hmm. Costa Rica is about a five hour and 50 minute flight. Portugal is about a seven hour and 20 minute flight. So there's a... So it's a longer flight. Longer flight there to begin with. And not only that, you have jet lag to deal with. So Costa Rica is only an hour difference time change and with uh, Portugal, Portugal it's five, five hours. hours so you got to consider all these yeah. things time zone length of the flight if there's any connections and when you get to the end if what kind of jet lag you're going to be dealing with so in this case Costa Rica probably gets the check mark on this one it's a shorter destination <laughs> sorry about that our dog just hit hit the camera this is Molly in case you're wondering <laughs> she's part of our team so now once in getting there you're going to need a place to uh, to stay rest your head yeah you need accommodations and what will it cost you how do you get those accommodations that sort of thing so i i basically i recommend use all the popular platforms that are out there airbnb vrbo expedia when, yeah if this is your first time yeah obviously if you're experienced then you don't need to do that but once you get there we w we would recommend just going for one month it's a trial period see if you like it or not once you get your feet wet you can see if you like it and once you get there you can find a rental agency and explore all kinds of options yeah but both countries have a variety of accommodations from uh, low to medium to high um, all kinds homes villas condos all that kind of stuff now personally I think Costa Rica is more expensive yeah. accommodation wise um, you can find some really cheap places but you get not, what you pay for exactly. that old scenario you get what you pay for yeah and in looking at these accommodations which you also have to take into account is the currency so now Portugal is a euro and uh, Costa Rica tends to use the cost, uh, US dollar so US it depends dollar. on the or exchange the rate or the colony or the colony which yeah. is their local currency yeah so you got to take all that into account so um, see which which works out better for you in exchange rate and that kind of stuff yeah so uh, this was our la our last trip our last snowbird trip was to Portugal and we decided to do uh, Airbnb and it was great very organized the people there were fantastic can't complain at all in Costa Rica we did Airbnb uh, the very first time we went there many years ago um, and yeah, it was it was organized, but there was a lot of uh, miscommunication. Uh, they really didn't pay attention to when our flight was coming in, when we were expected to come in, even though we communicated that with them. It's just a little tougher uh, to communicate, mm -hmm. I think, in Costa Rica, uh, unless your Spanish is fantastic. Well, they were a little. They were quite a bit more professional in Portugal, in Portugal in handling yeah. all the responses. If you had any needs, quick yeah. response as opposed to uh, Costa Rica. It's just a little bit more laid back. It's a warmer climate, all that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, Pura Vida. Yeah. yeah. So, with regards <laughs> so with regards to accommodations in Portugal versus in Costa Rica, Costa Rica. because of they're so organized in Portugal, yeah. I would say Portugal. Yeah. Price-wise, even yeah. Just as just about the same. If um, what you see is yeah, what you, is better. what you're going to get in Portugal. What you're promised is what you're going to get. There's no there's no real surprises. Whereas sadly in Costa Rica, the pictures look good, but when you get down there, it's just yeah. not just not all that great. Yeah, there's always something that's misunderstood. Yeah. But uh, check mark <laughs> the say it, but... check mark the Portugal on this one. Also. Check mark. Okay. So while there, you're going to want to consider uh, transportation needs. Yeah. Are you going to rent a car? Are you going to use local transit? Are you going to use Uber, cabs? Both countries have all of that. Um, what we find is in Costa Rica, they seem to be a little bit more expensive on all of them, except for maybe one. Their local transportation in Costa Rica is a little bit less than Portugal, but to rent a car 
it is quite more considerably expensive. What we paid for one week in Costa Rica, uh, in, that is. What we paid for one month in uh, in Portugal is the cost of one week to ten days in, in Costa Rica. Rica. It was, it's so, ridiculous. Um, uh, cabbies, the same thing. Uh, there, the airfare, uh, the airfares, the cab fares in Costa Rica differ. They're never yeah, the same. They're never the same. No, you um, could pay two different prices, three different prices to go to the same place every other day. So they're not overly regulated or regulated at all. Whereas in Portugal, they turn on the meter and you know what you're going to pay and it's the yeah, same. And when you get in, you just say, how much does it cost there? They'll say it's zone such and such. It will cost you this much. Yeah. So we found it um, awesome. They have trains in, in Portugal yeah. and they have buses, all sorts of different company buses to go from point A to point B. It is a very well connected country. Organized, yeah. Very, very, well organized. very organized. Costa Rica. I know the last time we were there, we tried to go from Playas del Coco to Jaco, and it was a nightmare trying to yeah. figure that out uh, and what it was going to cost, and it just wasn't worth they it to us really by the end. They don't really have a transportation. They do, but they don't. And again, it's it's not overly scheduled. It's almost fly by. Oh, hopefully, yeah. it shows up. It doesn't show up on time. So you're you're left always wondering when is this bus coming? And then again. It's hot, really hot down there, so you're in the heat. Mm -hmm. So uh, we rented a car, which gave us flexibility mm -hmm. to go around whenever we wanted to leave, go here, go there, and yeah. that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we found renting um, more better Ideal. for us, yeah, ideally. It was ideal. So much so that we rented, we chose, when we went, we went for two months, uh, we rented for one month the vehicle, and we enjoyed it so much. And the freedom that it gave us mm -hmm. and the cost was so reasonable, we just booked the next uh, month as well. Yeah. And it was seamless, like they, they really did help us out. So in this case, I give Portugal the check, mark. the check mark. Okay, let's talk day to day life in Costa Rica versus Portugal. Portugal. So obviously in Portugal, it is much cooler than in, yeah. in Costa Rica. Costa Rica, extremely hot. You will be in swimwear 24 hours a day. It is very hot, uh, in most cases very humid, uh, so that's what you have to deal with, so, which is great. Sometimes you really need that. Yeah. In Costa Rica, you're looking at about 32 degrees daily. Daily, in yeah. In Portugal, it ranged anywhere from 15 to 21, so you can degrees. see the considerable amount of uh, And that's Celsius. There. I'll put it in Fahrenheit on the screen for you. So, it, yeah, it all depends on what you like. You might not want the excess heat. You might. The other one might be fine. One, again, is like t-shirts and shorts. The other yeah. one is a, a light jacket, jeans, uh, you know, sneakers, that so kind of stuff. So, for us, if Costa Rica wasn't so hot, maybe I'd give it a tick mark for sure. Mm -hmm. But... For us, we preferred the less hot, uh, although in January in Portugal, it was a little bit too cold. But February, March, April, beautiful. So, so yeah, so let's compare the beaches. The beaches in uh, Costa Rica, very nice, uh, warm water. Yeah, um, very nice. Know, they do get a lot of red tide on uh, the, the Pacific side. Sometimes you don't want to get into the water because of it. Uh, in Portugal, we didn't see anything like that. The water is much cooler. There's at that time of year a lot of uh, snow, uh, not snowboarders, but uh, um, skiers. Um, not skiers. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, surfers. Surfers. <laughs> Sorry about One that. One of those was One a board. Of <laughs> it's very popular at that time of year. I guess they don't mind the cold water. So basically in Portugal, what you're doing is you're just walking the beach, you're enjoying the cafes along the beach, the restaurants but I must along say the beach, though, the view, the cliffs. It's the cliffs more about the ambiance. On the beach. The cliffs are um, so dramatic behind yeah. you on the beach. They're amazing. And the beaches in Portugal are very, very clean. In Costa Rica, it's wild. It's um, natural. Mm. It's not uh, kept. Um, so there's sometimes a lot of garbage. debris washed up. A lot yeah, of debris you really have up. to make sure you have shoes on, and yeah, uh, glass it's just that and sort of thing. Like but Costa Rica has some amazing sunsets. Yes, they really do, especially if you're on the Pacific side. Mm -hmm. Wow, pretty amazing. But we saw some really nice ones in Portugal oh, yeah. too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So. Uh, for it's a, it's, it's a, you know it just depends. It's a toss up. It's it's a toss -up. It depends what you like. Yeah. Uh, so, but for eating out, restaurants galore mm -hmm. on both uh, both countries. Costa Rica has a number of re uh, restaurants, restaurants there to eat. 
a lot of their local cuisine. They have sodas, which is called like their mom and pop restaurants. Same thing in Portugal. They have all the cuisines you can think yeah. of from all the cultures, Chinese yeah. to... Uh, Everything. To, Very well, international. Wamas. And they have their version of the mom and pop shops. Yeah. Uh, mom and uh, restaurants too, which are your, your traditional food. You go in with the yeah. big plates yeah. with your meat, your potatoes, your rice, your, your sardines, your local... Uh, yeah, Food any fair. type of fish. Mm -hmm. Very both countries have very fresh yeah. fish. So if you you're into fish, yeah. you don't uh, have a problem. No. One thing I must say though is that by going to Costa Rica, I have a sensitive stomach, so mm -hmm. I always got uh, there was one time uh, always one time where I always get sick. You know? Every time we went down yeah. for the winter, Frank would be in the doctor's office. Yeah, I'd be sitting down on there. the throne for a while and all that yeah, kind of stuff. Have to go to the some, doctor with some sort of tummy problem, which forced us a lot to eat in. in. Um, which was just as well because restaurants are fairly expensive there. Um, but, but in Portugal, I lucked out, did not. But see, this is where the climate comes into play. Costa Rica is so warm where keeping the food at a good temperature or in proper place, they have to be diligent about that. So I think that's yeah. where maybe think, things can go wrong. They're just kept out yeah. in the heat too much where they get maybe garner so, bacteria you like yeah. the chicken and that so kind of stuff. So food can spoil faster and I think that's the challenge that they have. We're in Portugal they really don't have that. They're very regulated yeah. and we felt very safe. Frank never once went no. to the doctor because of his tummy and uh, so for us food wise, restaurants, all of that, yeah. the price of things, yeah, they were reasonable in Portugal. Uh, Costa Rica, yeah. they've started to get very expensive uh, from what we've heard of late because this year we did not go there. But yeah, I would say in, in Portugal, the, the prices of food or restaurants are a bit better. Now, talking about food, we did a lot of grocery shopping because we yeah. were down for two months. Yeah. If you go down as a snowbird, you're going to be, for a duration of time, there, you're going to want to do some groceries and cook in your own unit. Yeah, and in Costa Rica, the food is very expensive yes. unless you are a local and know where to shop. Mm -hmm. And even that, even buying a watermelon, I can get a Costa Rican yeah. watermelon in Canada cheaper than the Costa Ricans can get a watermelon that was grown locally for them. There is something definitely wrong there. But anyway... Uh, for us, the cost of food, even though we were paying the euro in Portugal, I think was still a lot better. Yeah. Oh, no, for sure. Uh, so food-wise, groceries, all of that, check marked to Portugal. Uh, culture. Uh, amazing oh, culture in both ends. That both is a, ends. That is definitely a tie. I can't Death pick ends. one or the other. They I'm, all have their amazing cultures, their yeah, history. Their Mexican culture, mm, yeah. the beautiful colors that they have. Just their warm way of being. Mm -hmm. They are beautiful, beautiful people. Oh, they are. They're and very... I can equally say that for the Portuguese yeah. oh, as both. well. Oh, both. Yeah, those. They're both ties. Check very mark on both. People. For, so yeah, for both. Check, check for yeah. both. Oh no, yeah. for people. Check mark on both. Yeah. Now attractions. Um, for me, uh, it's very different. They're very, very different. Like in Costa Rica, what you're going to are to volcanoes. Mm -hmm to beaches and sunsets and sunset it's cruises. It's nature attractions or the and sloths. And the sloths. It's very wild. The howler monkeys. Yeah, it's all about that. If you're into doing that sort of thing, Costa Rica wins it 100%. Mm. With Portugal, you're there because of the history. The castles, the, 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 the past wars or battles yeah, and just, churches. Yeah, just and everything. There's so much history there and uh, it's very well organized. Yeah, so, so it just depends on what you like. And getting around, like again, here we go. Portugal speaks Portuguese, and in Costa Rica, it's Spanish. Spanish. So a language could be a barrier for you if that concerns you. Uh, in Portugal, I found that mostly everybody spoke English. If yeah. you went to a restaurant that had English menus, yeah. Portuguese, uh, they broke yeah. it down into French and being in Europe. It was much more, but almost everybody spoke uh, English. In We're, Costa Rica, it was a lot tougher. Yes. Uh, if you didn't know Spanish, you you would need to find somebody that could help you out. Yeah, that or, sort of thing. And, or use Google Translate yeah. or be using your hand gestures and a lot. And the of funny them. thing with Costa Rica is that sometimes you think you're communicating really well with them, but they have a habit of saying yes, yes, yes to everything. And so you think, yes, okay, they're going to meet us at 4 o'clock. Yes. Will come at four o'clock. They have no idea what you're saying, and they just keep saying yes. So there can be a lot of uh, so communication, yeah. uh, funny things going on. Yeah. So you'll be able to get a with yeah. the language of Portugal a little bit better than you would in uh, <laughs> in Costa Rica. Now, the big one for me in this is safety. Mm -hmm. So uh, in Portugal, 
you felt safe no matter yeah. what time of the day you were out, where you went, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Not a problem. Now, just remember, we were in the Algarve. We did go to central Portugal and did Lisbon. and So we did uh, do big cities, big small cities. towns, yep. touristy areas where... Uh, and we you know, felt relatively oh, yes. safe. Yeah. yeah. Um, Never worried about, you know, whatever yeah, being course. targeted yeah. or scammed or anything like that. Yeah, now, but of course you have to always, yeah. even in Canada or U.S., you always have to keep an eye out and mm. be smart about what, what you're doing. In Costa Rica? Costa Rica, it's a little bit different. It's a little uh, bit different. It, you know, it's a, it's a different country. Um, so you, you have to have your wits about you just a little bit more. Uh, you know, be yeah. a little bit uh, careful with the crime. It's a lot of petty little crime, uh, yeah. wallets, cell phones. And you can um, understand, you know, they have a tougher life. Yeah. Like the people there have a tougher life. Mm -hmm. And so they see us tourists in there with our things and so forth. And it's very tempting for them. So you get things like little thefts and um, some the little, little scams, getting sort of ripped off by the cabbie and by the cat, you know, the taxi. Just little things like that. You take a tour, your tour is not organized. Uh, it, it is organized, but it's just who's selling it to you and they sell it to you in different prices mm -hmm. and so forth. Yeah. So never for us, Portugal. Yeah, yeah, take yeah. on that one too. So yeah. just to wrap it up in a nutshell, in conclusion, yeah. uh, we would highly recommend or suggest that you, if you pick one of these two destinations or any other one that you've heard about or that you know catches your yeah, attention any place mm -hmm. try a month for the first snowboard season yeah. because you don't really want to book too long snowboard term. season snowboard 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 season. season or your wintering season. season try it for the very first time for one month, month. yeah you because know? Uh, if you've if you tied in for two or three months off the bat and things just aren't working out and you're not happy yeah yeah you know, you can just try something else the following year if you love it then you will be back again and yeah. you will stay longer so that's what we have to say yeah, so and I hope share. This, this helped you. We have still haven't thought where we're, we're going to go next year. So yeah. we're leaning more towards one than the other. But uh, that remains to be seen. So hopefully this helps you think yeah. of Costa Rica and Portugal. Yeah. They're both fantastic places. Yeah. All places have pros and cons. So Absolutely. We love them both mm. dearly. And we've gone to other places as well. Like we've done the Florida snowbird thing. St. Martin. Yeah, we've done St. Martin in the Caribbean. And, you know, these sort of thoughts this process you have to go through which whatever country you decide to go to there's a lot of countries out there i hope we've been helped to you thank you for joining us and we'll see you next week see you next week see you next week if you've enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to our channel hit that like button send a comment share this video with a friend in the meantime check out our socials youtube shorts instagram and facebook for the latest daily tidbits